Okay, Leeds, here we go. The following welterweight contest is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Let's meet the fighters. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner with a record of two wins and three defeats, representing modern-day martial arts, it's Andrew Wrecker-Reed. And his opponent standing across the cage and fighting out of the blue corner. He is making his debut and representing Team Fight Pit, it's Scott Brown! Here we go, next fight of the evening. United Amateur Rules welterweight contest between Andrew Reid, two and three, representing the modern day martial arts, taking on Scott Brown, making his debut from Team Fight Pit. I must credit Andrew Reid on a fine moustache there <laughs> and some fine walkout music. Yes, and some uh, wonderful fighters only shorts, very rare. I've never seen them before. It looks They're like he's coming back in out, a few. swinging. Like he's in a diving <laughs> takedown. Reminiscent of Randy Couture on James Tony when he <laughs> dives in for the foot. Yeah. Oh. And there he goes, he secures the takedown. Probably doesn't have the prowess of Randy Couture, but he's looking good so far. So He's got a better moustache, I'll oh, certainly yeah. say that. Credit to the tattoos as well, mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a fine back piece. But to the no, MMA. Again, <laughs> back to the MMA though, again it's that holding that guillotine from the, from the bottom position. Yeah, Scott it's Brown's making his debut, he's had amateur B experience that I've seen, you know. He, he likes to control the ground well, but he's on his back, and obviously... Ooh. The veins are popping out in Andrew's head. It, it, it looks like it might be a little bit tight. A little bit tight. <laughs> yeah, but I don't, it, there's be, not going to be any trouble there. So I'd be amazed to see the finish from there, absolutely. Oh, 100%. But. But that's all Andrew needed to do was wrap his own arm around uh, Scott's neck. Take the pressure off. Yeah. And he's working, still in the half guard at the moment. And if he can, uh, if he can step over to the other side now, Andrew can get a uh, head and arm choke here. Scott's just trapping him here. Scott's making his debut tonight, and he, he looks he looked quite calm to be honest. Andrew looked like he was, uh, you know, was dying to get that takedown after getting struck maybe once or twice. That was a definitely a lunging takedown to say the least. Yeah, he's still got hold of this neck now, and that's got to take you know that's got to build some lactic uh, lactic acid in your uh, in your arms. Which definitely, is not that's nice. the thing. I've seen it too many times. They, they, Put too much onto that. You're never going to secure it from there. You end up burning out your arms. Yeah, he's. Uh, but still, he now he's worked <laughs> round. He's yeah. getting it into the full, back into the full guard there. Andrew had some really but nice shoulder pressure into uh, Scott's face just then, but he's moved now. Seen a few finishes like that lately. Yes, uh, the Ovin Saint Flu show. That's it. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Now we'll credit Jason Von Flew with that. <laughs> and there we go, Andrew Reeds. Because from north south. But there we go. Uh, Paul's guard. Yeah, Scott, Scott Brown quite, doing well. Yeah, doing well so far. Against a more experienced opponent with five fights under his belt. Yeah. I mean, on my notes that I've got here, it says he's past fights. He likes to throw leg kicks, but he's not had the chance. <laughs> now there's an opportunity for a bit of ground and pound, maybe, for, for Scott Brown. Yeah, Andrew guys. Reed. Looks like he's trying to work from the cage, push off maybe. They're both quite big as well. To say they're yeah, only fighting the, at uh, 77 kilo. Yeah, for your welterweights, definitely a couple of solid looking guys. Scott Brown looking up to his corner for the advice there. End of the first round. You know, close round really. Yeah, both guys had, the, had their moments. No one looked in trouble. Andrew looks a bit a, a bit frustrated there as he as he stood up to speak to his corner team. Well, the moustache is still looking good. Yeah. Got pretty sure it still will at the end of the fight. Got to keep priorities and everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Scott getting some, uh, getting some tips off his corner team here. He looks really relaxed. And Andrew Reid looks tired. His hands up against his coach now. But what would you say Scott's got to do different in this round? Well, I mean, he, he's, there was a bit of more sort of hanging in there as opposed to trying to oppose your, impose your will, trying to get your game plan going, get it where you want to be rather than just, just clinging on, defending, 
I say he did. He got it going a little bit towards the end of the round, but for yeah. most, most of the mainstay, he was quite comfortable to stay on his back there. Yeah, when, um, the, fight, when the fight first started, they, were, they both threw. They both threw some really powerful shots. Uh, I, f I think as soon as one landed, Andrew dived straight in for that takedown. Yeah. I'd quite like to see it stay on the feet, maybe, and yeah. see see what, what it brings. Is that both guys are definitely up for swinging? Yeah, because like, Andrew's the bigger guy. Like he's got a very big reach. See if he can work that uh, here in the second. Scott looking very wide-eyed there. Ooh. I didn't know if he if he'd got rocked then or what. He kind of stopped in his tracks. Yeah, looked like a bit of a brief pause there. Again, that's one of the things you want to stay in the cage, get your cage experience. These are all things I'll learn, but you've got to remember Scott Brown coming in from a debut fight take on a guy who's had five fights. Yeah. It's definitely a tall task, so he's got nothing to lose here. He's got no shame in losing to a guy who's had, you know, five fights. No, definitely. And he's, he's holding his own. He's looking for a reversal there, but now but Andrew no, reading to mount. That's the danger there. You leave yeah. yourself open. Andrew popping, he's looking to pop the head out there. It's a thing Andrew's been in these experiences before, whereas, you know, Scott's had amateur B experience, but there's no headshots on the floor there. So if Andrew can get up now and start, you know, raining some ground and Com pound. Completely different demographic, isn't oh, 100%. it? It's just like changing to pro. And there we Throw go. Throw an elbow in there, it's completely different. Get guys hooks him, he's crossing the feet, which uh, is very, very odd. You don't want to see people crossing the feet there. It's a bit of a risk, but I think he recognises it. Uh, he's gone for the body triangle now. He's gone Beautiful. for the body triangle there. Scott wants to be rolling the other way. And this is a tough position to get out of when the pressure's on. Yeah, if he wants to take the pressure off of him, he wants to roll to where the uh, both the, the legs are hooked together. Take a bit of pressure off, turn into him. And it's still, it's obviously, it's, uh, the later the fight goes on, the sweatier you get, the, yeah. the easier it is to Andrew get out of this position. There. But could it be looks, a dangerous position. It looks yeah. like he's got it under the chin there. Looks like he needs to squeeze with his legs here. It's not where you want to be, a bad position for Scott Brown here. He's, he's holding on though, he's, 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 he's staying in there. It's not quite all the way under the under the, the chin there. No, but He's it's, only it's got one not... arm in as well. You'd, I'd be very surprised if he'd finished a fight with a one-armed rear naked choke. There we go, Scott he's got it back Brown. out. Well done, Scott Brown. Didn't stay calm there, oh, but he's spread, he's out. Yeah, he spread out like here. He's a, yeah, he's panicking. This is a bad position to oh, be he in. Let, he lets go. Uh, he's changed the grip now, from what we can see. Yep, he's going for the finish. But still, it's around the chin, not quite under the chin. Very impressed with Scott Brown's defence here. He's not letting Andrew Reid have it whatsoever. But the support for Scott in the crowd now, urge him on a little bit. If you're in Scott's corner, what would you, what would you be telling him to do here? You know, just keeping that chin down, keep your chin down, keep controlling the arms. That's the thing, it's like you're either going to be looking at unlocking the legs, unlocking the arms, but as soon as you do one, they're going to do the other, so you've just got to stay Again, smart in this situation. And you read attacking the neck there, it's late in the round though. Great round. I am very, very impressed with Scott Brown's defence there. I think, again, Andrew looks very frustrated. I think he's wanting to get this finish. Yeah, I think but, he thought he might have had it there. Yeah, as an experienced fighter, he should know if you look for the finish, you are not going to get the finish. When you try and you try and you try to get it, it's just not going to It's not going to be there. And Scott Brown defended everything in that round there. So uh, let's see who comes out on top in this last round. I think they're both going to, again, they're going to have to come out hard. Scott's got the crowd on his side here. Yeah, absolutely. Here we are, everything to play for again. And in a fight as well, if you've got the crowd behind you, it does make a bit of a difference because, oh, absolutely. you know, especially in this last round, like you can, you're tired and you want to go out and win. And if you've got that crowd behind you, I think Scott might be a bit more motivated to go in and get the finish now. Instead of just defending these to get some offense out. So again, I'd like to see it stay on the feet if possible. It's where Scott seems to be a lot more comfortable. And uh... yeah, Andrew likes to throw that kick a lot, but he doesn't set it up. So... Here we go with the third round. Here we go. Straight in there, Scott Brown. Andrew Reid looks very frustrated. I don't yeah. know if he's frustrated with himself or just with the fight. Not much Leaves on his that neck leg in there. there. Scott wants to turn him. He doesn't want to keep his back against the cage with his guillotine. Oh, but it looks tight. Does look tight. But from oh, the half guard, 
Yeah. Seen, seen them finish there before, but it's not an easy position. No, it looked like he was trying to get that left leg over to you know, maybe squeeze a little bit. Andrew Reed's face is red now. He needs to, yeah. He's trying to pass into the side control yeah, there, and there he goes, pressure. he passes. Lovely. Take the pressure off, let some of those veins in the head go down. <laughs> yeah. You know, this side control position as well in amateur, you don't really see a lot of knees being thrown to the body, but if one of them lands, you know. You can take a little bit of wind at yourselves, yeah. out of doubt. You never want to take a, take a knee. And it, it, it keeps you thinking as well. That's the thing again here. This is where I want to see Scott Brown working a bit more. I know it's later in the fight, but you don't want it. You can't accept the position. No, oh, with, and there we go. Beautiful. And just as I'm saying it, <laughs> just as I'm saying it, he shuts me up. Now Scott Andrew Brown Reed. looking to look into uh, transition. Scott needs to push away. There got, we go. Maybe got nice. a bit too excited there. Didn't control the position. Mm -hmm. Ended up in a back all end. tangled, and uh, now he's back on his back again. Uh, needs to get his left leg through here, maybe get into guard. But you know, if he gets him into guard, he can't just sit there like you said earlier. He needs to... It's a short rounds, three minute rounds. Yeah. You know, there's not much for the judges to go on if you've just been laying on your back, sort of accepting position. I know it's easier said than done, but you've got to be actively fighting to try and get out of that position. You can't accept being on the bottom. You're, you're, not, in the, you're not in the dominant position. You're losing points and the judges will go against you. Yeah, he needs to... He needs to He's try going for the, looking for the arm bar. I think Andrew Reid sees that, sees that and keeps it tight, keeps himself tight on the body, not letting his arm get singled out. Yeah, Scott Brown's looking to try and get an arm bar here, but you know, he's against the cage. Very difficult to get any submission really against the cage. I think this may be another one to go to the judges, keeping our judges very busy for the evening. Yeah, making them earn the paycheck tonight. Again, here we go. This, I mean, this is the thing with, with, with Scott there. I would be saying, you know, you need to be trying to get back to your feet rather than fighting off your back. Yeah. There's only so much you can do fighting off your back. It's best to try and get back to your feet, get back into your world. He clearly wants it on the feet. Yeah. He's, he's looking to try and get a triangle here, but again, against the cage, going to be pretty difficult. He's throwing some punches there. Getting late on in the fight as well. Against the cage, yeah, you've got 10 seconds left. Yeah. Now's the time, well... I say just throw, try and cause as much damage as you can, see if you can sway it on the judges. Definitely. It's a, there we go. There we strong, go. Strong round for Andrew Reid, I think. I think I think he's took the fight here. But obviously, we're not the judges. We're not being paid to judge. Definitely a credit <laughs> to our matchmakers, though. Again, another oh, yeah. another closely fought contest. Yeah, like if you looked at it on paper, obviously, Andrew's got that record. Uh, he's got the experience factor, but he's in that fight. Scott Brown looks like a you know an experienced amateur fighter. Absolutely. He, did, he didn't show any nerves and he uh, he did his best to defend whatever uh, Andrew Reid threw at him and you, you know, know, well you know Reed, Reed would def definitely be wanting that big win to make bring his record back to a breaking even three and three. Yeah, it's uh, it was a it, it was a, a closer fight than I thought it was going to be. You know, looking at it on paper, I think S Scott definitely had the the upper hand with the striking. Yeah, and absolutely. then uh, you know. Andrew, he just had more control on the ground, I think, so... Uh, and the moustache has lost volume, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as always, your appreciation for both fighters in the cage. Thank you. It's another one that has gone the distance, and so we head to our judges' scorecards, where we have a unanimous decision for your winner in the red corner. Andrew Recker Reed! And your appreciation, please, for Scott Brown!